Football season is underway. We'll see the San Francisco Giants as they play against the Los Angeles Dodgers. And it's game time on 2K Sports. Season. Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Fruck. We look forward to a fantastic year. How would you describe him other than just a winner? Well, a very fine pitcher. Justin Verlander, his stuff on display. The devotees of the Los Angeles Dodgers showing up here for this game. Steve will be focusing here on these uh, San Francisco. We'll see what Bruce Bochy's got going here in the lineup. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, one of the more exciting players in center field that you'll... Play ball! Verlander with swung on. That is hit. And the leadoff man of this ball game's on board. See if they get it started early. Now we'll take a quick look at the Dodgers and see what they look like defensively. John, uh, keeping an eye on anyone? Well, you love your outfielders to have a lot of speed, and Curtis Granderson has that. Doesn't have the strongest of throwing arms, but he charges the ball so well, he shuts down the running game with his legs Strike as one. well as his arm. Lays off that one at the letters, 0-1. Bob on stealing. Ball. And it's not in time, and he beats the throw. Foul fastball, now the count one and two. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball. Oh. And Verlander will miss with that one. That'll be a ball. That is hit foul by McCutcheon. Oh. McCutcheon, again, will foul it off. Well, even if he doesn't get a hit here in this at-bat, the fact that he's making the pitcher work, two and two count, enables everyone around him in the dugout to see every pitch he's throwing because he's throwing the kitchen sink trying to get this strikeout. He just fouled off that low pitch. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. Bob Bowen stealing, headed for the middle. That one gets in there. Braun should be a run. And he's in there. Well, you wonder he had the energy to run to first base after seeing that many pitches, fouling off pitches, taking tough pitches. But he did. Well, thank goodness he only had to run 90 feet because I'd imagine he was pretty tired. And Butler's in the box. Now, yeah, Steve, they needed to take the lead, and they've come through just as we thought they might. Let's see how this plays out. Well, that's a good piece of hitting right there to take an early lead in this game. Verlander unable to find the strike zone. It's very early, so it may not stand up, but uh, far better to be playing with the edge. Well, that's right, Gary. I mean, they're going to try to use that edge to add some padding to this lead. Swinging and a miss, and it's now one and two. Popped up. Should be playable behind the plate. And Napoli brings that one in. One away. Still early on, a look at what the Dodgers have coming up. The San Francisco series wraps up tonight. We take on a fellow National League West Club, the Rockies at Coors Field. Single game series there. Then they'll get in the ring with another. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And Hart picks himself up a single. Well, he swung the bat well in the last game, getting two hits, and he seems to be continuing it in this one. RBI, that's the chance Aaron Hill has. Well, the Giants didn't make the playoffs in 2009, and a big part of that was they did not play well against the Dodgers. They reversed their fate in 2010, and it got them to the playoffs. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch was a strike. Well, we talked about the Giant record against the Dodgers. It was 10-8 and last year, but... As Steve mentioned, 7 and 11 the year before. You know, those head to head matchups within your division against other good teams, if you can beat them, it's a double victory. You get the win and they take the loss.
And Verlander sends the 2-1. He makes contact, line drive. Well, let's take a look at where San Francisco ended up rank-wise last year in the National League. Sixth in home runs, sixth in slugging percentage, and they were in the top ten in team batting average, an offense that made a lot of contact and got a lot of base hits. And we're going to see Hundley here. 0 for 6. That's what he did last year against the Dodgers here in Los Angeles. And that's the third out. Pujols grabs it. Nice way to get things started. San Francisco is on top. Bautista now will stand in. Fresh count of Bautista. Here it comes. Swing. He clobbers this one deep into right center field. One bounce onto the wall. Bautista towards third. He throws and safe at third with plenty of time. A lot of times when you think of a triple, you're thinking of runs batted in. One or possibly two. But this time he's the only guy in base. But he's leading off this inning with that triple and a chance for a big inning. First pitch to Pujols. Swing and a hot shot. And that one gets through. Pujols gets an RBI. Well, with one run already across the board and nobody out, this has the potential of being a really big inning. Let's see if they can string some hits together. It's got to be Napoli. Well, this is the right move. You had to get the starter out of there, Gary. I mean, he didn't have his good stuff today. But now the bullpen's going to have to step up and see if they can't come back in the game. First pitch on the way. And he lays one down here. Parker. That's one out. And he throws it away and everybody's safe. Oh, and a wild throw. There's one you can put in the textbook. If you wanted to call a pitch to bunt, you'd probably ask for that pitch. And that's why this is a team game. You have to handle the game situations. Outstanding baseball right there. Good bunt. And Troy Tulowitzki to bat. Ooh, and Pujols is going to steal. And he's going to be tagged out at the plate. Wow. you got to wonder about that one. They have cost themselves a very big run. Pitch on the way. A swing and a ball hit high and deep. Down the line and right off the wall. A chance to see where Troy Tulowitzki ended up in the rankings last season. Second batting average of runners in scoring position. Fourth in batting average. And he really slugged the ball last year. Ranked in the top five in slugging percentage. That ability to drive the ball into the outfield gaps and down the line puts himself in scoring position and drives in runs. He gets Longoria to swing, strike one. Oh, he pulled the string on that curveball, took a little bit off and had him way out in front. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And yet another hit there, seeing the ball well. Fantastic chance here. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate. And he pays for it. Runners at first stand third with two away. First pitch to him. Strike one. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Here's the pitch. Strike two. He lets that fastball go by for a called strike. 0 and two. When you can spot your four seam fastball to the outside corner. The hitter has to have balance at the plate and not pull off the ball. Struck him out. He gets out of this with just a little hurt. They pick up four hits in the inning. 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. I'm Gary Thorne. Verlander with a delivery. And Longoria picks it up. Retiring born. With one away, Andrew McCutcheon is at the plate. Well, and McCutcheon just picked up where he left off after his rookie season. Another solid performance in 2010. And I tell you, this kid has the chance to be a special one. Can do a lot of things on a baseball field, even starting to add some power to the arsenal. 
0-1 count as that started off of a strike. strike we talk about uh, for Andrew McCutcheon, consistency, John. Identical numbers in average and on-base percentage over the last two years. Well, you love to see that with a young player, that sort of predictability and consistency in his game. And I think he's going to actually continue to grow and improve. He's a tremendous athlete. But Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he's set down. So Billy Butler will try and keep it going. Had a base hit his last time up. First pitch is on the way to Butler. There's a swing and a ground ball. Picked up by Pujols. Yeah. And they'll record the out at first base. Good timing on that play. We might not have been able to get him out. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crump. Verlander with a delivery. This is pop foul to the right side, but playable. Had a look at that one, but can't come up with it. Ball. Low for a ball to Hill. Well, I think right now, offensively, you've got to start getting base runners. Get as many as you can. I mean, you're down a ton, so you don't need big hits. You don't need home runs. You need base runners. And that gets down. Hill with a single. Well, a nice piece of hitting right there. You get on base to start the inning with no outs. And you know, all it does is you want to just keep the line moving if you're the guys behind it. And it's Molina at the plate. A runner on first, no outs. Pops him up and way up there. This one towards Longoria. One away. And we're going to see Scudero here. He popped out his last time. Runner at first with one down. Verlander with a delivery. Strike one. And the called strike taken by Scudero. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four-seamer down and away. Strike two. Justin Verlander gets the head on the count. Tough to hit against him now. 0-2. Hit on the ground. And he'll try to make the play. Oh, but a second, not in time. He'll be safe. He'll get just one. Well, nice stop by the first baseman there, but the runner able to advance in the scoring position there. And the number eight spot rolls around. Had a double his last time up. And the first pitch. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down to the zone with that four-seamer. 0-1, Verlander kicks and deals. Missed badly with a fastball there, one and one. Well, he's he's over the 80 pitch mark right now at this point in the game. And you know that pitching coach is keeping a close eye on him to see if he tires. Curve ball just off the black, and it's two and one. The two-one pitch. Swing and a line drive. Makes its way through for a single. This is an opening for San Francisco. You just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Two men on, two men out. Here's the pitch. A swing and a foul off to the right side. Brian Wilson's going to be pitching. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. Well, this was an outstanding performance today. I mean, that's good starting pitching right there. He won't be able to finish what he started, but he pitched a heck of a ball game. Fouled off that first pitch, and won the count. And a grounder is at the last out. And that'll do it, everybody. That's out number three. This ball game over. Well, they went a great one here today, Gary, and it's all because of the pitching. Outstanding pitching really leading them to victory. And now, what you say we uh, present an award to our player of the game. A terrific mound game, Justin Berlin. Well, the heat was flowing in this game today. This pitcher came right out there with that great fastball and challenged these hitters. He did give up the one earned run, but the offense gave him just enough support that he needed to get a very impressive win.
And Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Now, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the...